Chicago Restaurant Week starts today. Avli is one of the restaurants taking part at all three of their Chicago locations. Joining us now with their four-course Greek feast is founder and CEO Louis Alexakis. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hello, yes. pleasure to meet you too. I understand your food journey begins with hot dogs. Yeah, you know, <laughs> my mom actually was one of the first people to sell hot dogs in the Chicago parks uh -huh. uh, since the late 1950s, and she did it for 54 years. And at 81, wow. we used to have to open the windows for her and come back and close her up at night. And she's like, go away, I have to sell hot dogs. Oh my <laughs> so yeah, that was mom's journey. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay, and you're continuing the family legacy. I am. But on a grander scale. <laughs> I mean, yes. you are the founder of all the Avlis. Yes, with some wonderful partners yeah. today, including Lou Canellis, a wonderful friend, and Bill Glastris. Um, so we're three Greek guys who took my one restaurant, and now we've made it multiple restaurants. Wow. I mean, what do you attribute to all the growth? Like, um, You know, Greek food's really approachable. It's, um, it's comfort food but is still, you know, tasty enough and different enough. Yeah. And it happens to be fairly healthy, which is, I'm really happy to be showing you how to make a Greek salad today. I love that. Why is Restaurant Week so important to showcase the restaurants? So it's for everyone, and I would recommend this is the best time to go try everybody's mm -hmm. restaurants after you've tried all of ours first. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But, you know, it's a great time to go try restaurants that maybe you haven't gone to because they might have some prefix menu prices a little expensive, or you don't know what to get. And the best thing about Restaurant Week is everyone pretty much puts together a recommended menu. And the restaurant's trying to show its best foot forward. So you're going to probably get the best dishes when you go eat at a restaurant during Restaurant Week. I love Restaurant Week because I always say it's a very low risk, high reward, it is. right? And of course, they're, you're going to put your best foot forward as a restaurant because you want to bring them back. $25 for lunch and $42 for dinner. That's really that's good. That's incredible. That's and that means good. appetizer. That's your main. That's your plus. main. It's going to be a dessert. Uh, some of them are four course. Right. Like our dinner is four course. So you're going to get like a appetizer plus a salad plus, plus an entree wow. plus a dessert it's a great it's a great meal oh my goodness all right so what are you making us all right so this is a greek salad and actually the lovely thing about a greek salad okay. is, is there's actually a lot of ingredients but there's the basics okay got to have great tomatoes mm -hmm. um, cucumbers feta cheese olive oil uh, onions uh, vinegar, red wine vinegar, and everything else is kind of like little add-ons that might be from what your family does or what part of Greece you're from, or you know even bread rusks, which is something in both uh, southern Greece, like in the island of Crete, and all of our restaurants actually seem to use them, and we even use them at home. So I thought I'd bring those too. Yeah. And All you're right. the man with the mandolin. Uh, how yes, does that and I'll this? tell you why. Okay. This is the greatest invention yes. in the world, everybody, because okay. it lets you cut things like onions mm -hmm. really nice and thin. That's true. Or cucumbers without potentially cutting your fingers. Yeah, the main thing is you have to have this, right? Yeah, it helps. Oh. It helps. <laughs> I have shaved off my fingers yes, on this well, machine, everybody, yeah. so yeah. warning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if you have that, it's so easy to do. And okay. so I'm going to kind of walk everybody through how, right. to, how yeah. to use this. Great. And first, I'm just going to quickly talk about the ingredients. Sure. Especially the fact that Greek oregano mm. is actually... It's special. It's special. It's the only uh, genus of oregano is Greek. It's separate from all other oreganos in the world. Mm. Um, and obviously... As a wonderful uh, Instagram chef says, who's Greek, you have to use extra virgin Greek olive oil, <laughs> right? Yes. That's the only kind of olive oil to use. Uh, and of course, red wine vinegar from Greece. And then again, depending upon where you are, you can use little spicy northern peppers. Mm -hmm. um, traditionally, everybody uses green peppers here. Capers, really popular in the islands of Greece. Yeah, I love And capers. then these bread rusks are called dakos. They're originally from the island of Crete. Mm -hmm. We just love them. We'll eat them. Like, yeah. like raw, um, we like them in salads because it sort of soaks up all the juices. Yes, right? all that vinegar and olive oil. It's Fabulous. all there. Okay, let's all get right. started. Let's so assemble. let's start. So first of all, there's a couple of different things I'll recommend is number one, just get the best tomato you can mm -hmm. get, whether it's a tomato on the vine, whether it's cherry tomatoes, whatever is the best tomato in season is what you want to use. So it's kind of easy. Depending if you want to be a little lazy, you can take the top off. Mm -hmm. Normally you're going to quarter your, your tomatoes, and they're kind of big slices, but in Greece, you eat, a, you eat this kind of a salad often with a knife and a fork. It's a meal. Yeah. This is your meal. It's not just Beautiful. the beginning of an entree. And again, it's very healthy, and depending upon the size of the tomatoes, it's, you know, they can be perfectly sized or not. 
That's nice, but again, what's the nice thing about a cherry tomato? You just cut it in half. You cut it in half, Beautiful. and it's bite-sized. And I'm going to kind of recommend everyone that that's an easy way mm -hmm. to make a salad, is to make things bite-sized. Well, Chef Louis, I don't want to run out of time. We've got about a minute no. left, so Perfect. let's pretend that we've already... We are. We, yeah. We're going to take this for our tomatoes, and then we're going to take cucumbers. Again, with the mandolin, mm -hmm. and I want it a little bit thicker if it's ah, a cucumber. Okay. Adjust it. Very Beautiful. easy. I Gorgeous. have my cucumbers ready. They're going to go right in. We need to add olives. We need to add the onions. Mm -hmm. Quick okay. little thing about onions. I like to soak them first in a little bit of red wine vinegar because it makes them a little bit more mild. Beautiful. I, uh, if you can marinate your olives first with a little bit of oil and a little bit of oregano, that's the best. Of course, you got some kalamatas, right? Yes, indeed. You're going to toss these all together. Beautiful. You're going to want to get now olive oil and vinegar into this, ah. and we're done. Perfect. Now you've got some new concepts coming up, right? We do. So we're opening two more restaurants in the Fulton Market area. One is a fast, casual, really great, natural, simple, healthy Greek food style place. Okay. Um, and then we're opening up another Greek restaurant that's more of a meze style restaurant. Little tapas style dining. And you have to finish this with Greek feta cheese. Oh, there wow. is a difference. Greek feta cheese is sh sh uh, sheep and goat. It's oh. not cow milk. A little bit of oregano on top, and your salad is good to go. Stunning. Okay, and you're not even like, you're not being uh, cheap with this feta. You're like, this is a whole slab. <laughs> Listen, that's how it goes. And you can either get them as little cubes. It depends. In Greece, you'll get it as a big slab. Because, okay. again, people eat it with a knife and a fork. But... We can Beautiful. also crumble it in, or cube it. And before we go, I do want to mention on your restaurant uh, week menus at all the Avelis, there's a lot of selection in terms of the main, the protein, right? There is. You've got, We've like, more. fish. You we have... do. We want to give people a choice. Yeah. So you, there are some parts that, you know, everyone's going to uh, pick, like, from two different right. appetizers. But we've given three and even four entree choices at yeah. most of our restaurants. So, like, fresh fish. Fresh and like... fish. And then there's, of course, a Greek uh, souvlaki. Yes. Uh, very healthy and very nice. Um, um, some traditional Greek style dishes like moussaka, I believe, is at one mm -hmm. of the restaurants. Nice. So I if you can, that. come on in and, and visit us. We will. Thank chef, you, thank Chef. You. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Now, Pleasure. Restaurant week goes from January 19th, kicks off today through February 4th. Avli will be offering $25 lunch and $42 dinner. To learn more about Avli and book a reservation, head to Avli, A-V-L-I dot U-S. Thanks again, Chef. Thank you.